This is a problem in thermodynamics. We have an ideal gas that is completing an entire cycle along the path A to B, B to C, C to D, and back to A. We are required to find out the amount of work that is done by the gas. Now, if in the problem we had been provided with the pressure and volume at each of these points, the problem would be a very simple one because the amount of work done by the gas is the area enclosed by the closed curve. And we would simply multiply the difference in pressure by the difference in volume and get the amount of work done by the gas. But we are we are not given the pressure and volume at each of these points. Instead, we are given the temperature in degrees Kelvin. At A, it is 40 degrees Kelvin. At B, 80 degrees Kelvin. At C, 240 degrees Kelvin. And at D, 120 degrees Kelvin. Now, we know that no work is done by the gas along the path A to B because here the volume is constant and the work done is defined by pressure times change in volume. There is no change in volume from A to B, nor is there any change in volume from C to D. Therefore, no work is done along these paths. So the work is done between B and C and D and A. Now, the work done along the path BC is given by the pressure along BC times the change in the volume. Now we know the ideal gas equation tells us that PV, or pressure times volume, is nRT, where n is the number of moles of the gas, R is a gas constant and T is the degrees, is the temperature in degrees Kelvin. So we could write WBC is the pressure along BC times delta V, and this can be written as NR delta T or NR TC minus TB. Similarly, we can write the work done along the path DB equal NR times TA minus TD. Now this, the net work done by the gas is WBC plus WDB and this is NRTC minus TB plus TA minus TD and we do know those temperatures and this is NR minus 80 plus 40 minus 120 and this is NR times 80. Now where N is the number of moles and R is a gas constant and 80 is of course what we calculated so the net work done by the gas and let's assume for the sake of this problem that we have one mole of the gas so that n would be 1 so this would be 1 times the gas constant is 8.3 joules per mole per degree Kelvin times 80 and this would give us uh, 
8.3 times 80, 664 joules. And there we have the answer. This is the amount of work that is done by the gas in the closed cycle. Of course, in a closed cycle, there is no change in the internal energy of the system, but there is work done by the gas, which equals 664 joules.